was in attendance today. Oh, we got another crazy to talk about to go over today. This came out what a couple days ago on the Twitters. If you look, if you if you've been in this, you know, okay, what I'm about to talk about because game companies gotta they y'all gotta stop. You gotta stop if y'all want to make money. You know what I'm saying? If y'all actually want to make good games that people that want to play are going to play, going to rem- continue to play, go back and play, you got to stop letting freaks and weirdos like this in your damn company, dog. You can't have community managers like this that I'm about to go over working for y'all, dog, because they are actively destroying you. They're good for nothing. They don't know shit. They're crazy. You know what I'm saying? But, before I get into that, before I get into that, please, hook your boy up, you know what I'm saying? Hit that like button for your boy, that's all I'm asking, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got to even share the video, you know what I'm saying? If you want to comment and say something, you know what I'm saying? Down in the comment section of how bad it is, you know what I'm saying? How my hairline look, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck, I don't give a fuck, you know what I'm saying? Hook your boy up, you know what I'm saying? Give you some tips, some tricks, some pointers, you know what I'm saying? Some constructive criticism, you feel me? Now. Let's get into this Looney Tune, and I bring to you the Basketinator. Oh yeah, she looks like a basket, all right. You know what I'm saying? AKA the Michelin Man, AKA the Marshmallow Ghost from Ghostbusters. You know what I'm saying? Look, look. It, if you if you look at these freaks and weirdos, all right, and you pull up their account. And they got all of this, but this, if you're going to be working for a game company, all of this, all of this needs to get the fuck up out of your profile. Politics has no fucking, no reason to be in video games blatantly like that. You feel me? Just first thing politics that, that kills it, that kills it for us. You feel me? But not just this politics. She is working on the game. Hell Divers 2. You feel me? The game that, that, that that's on PlayStation, PC, everybody's loving, fighting for democracy. You feel me? If you're a Starship Trooper fan, you're loving the game right now. But you need to know who is the community manager of your motherfucking game, of these kind of games. You feel me? Not of just these kind of games, of games in general. These are the types of motherfucking people that are hiring. If you ever wonder why you, 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 your women got these square jaws and you know what I'm saying? Shoulders like mine, you feel me? You, you, you want to know why? Because you got freaks and weirdos like this. Oh, but wait, it doesn't stop there. It does not stop there. Because this Looney Tune has been saying some crazy, crazy, crazy shit, dog. I'm telling you. Get these kind of people out of your motherfucking studios. Get them out. Get them out. Because they're not helping anything. They're actively, like I say, destroying gaming. Actively. You know what I'm saying? Because look at this. Plus, Helldivers is pretty woke, dog. Game was made by a lot of LGBTQ and brown people. And black. Grammar. Learn it. The game was made, but let me, let, me, let me help you out. Was made by a lot of LG, LGBTQ brown and black people. First off, what's the difference between a brown and a black person? You, you mean Hispanics and black people? It's okay to say that. Stop being so fucking scary, you Humpty Dumpty looking motherfucker. Anyway. And it's a big satire on jingoism. The, it amused me. They don't know that Super Earth is bad. I don't think. But see, here's the thing. We don't cater. We don't. We don't play games the way you freaks and weirdos want us to play them. Okay, Super Earth is the good guy. All right. So fuck what y'all talking about in the alien menace. You know what I'm saying? Is the bad people. It also explains a lot about the world at present. What? Okay, anyway, someone comes back in and they say, didn't they ban people from their Discord for suggesting they add LGBT colored capes? Yeah, but she comes back with this, bruh. No, 
We only ban bigots, transphobes, homophobes, racists, etc. Are not welcome in our community. We had to restrict the topics to in the eight in the Hell Divers Two General Chat for a while because it was triggering massive waves of hate speech, which our staff was struggling with emotionally. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Not the, not the hate speech. <laughs> Man, get the fuck out of here with this bullshit. You feel me? Because no one cares. But when you come in and you say shit like this, and people of correct thinking sees this shit that's been playing your game, it, 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 some people aren't going to stop playing the game. I understand that. But some are because they see this dumbass shit like this. I'm telling you, game companies, get these type of people out of your motherfucking games. Get them out. Get them the fuck out. But oh wait, there's more. Because this crazy Looney Tune doesn't stop there. She has been saying some wild shit for a while. Look at this. Look at this shit. Let me zoom out. Oh, actually. Let me zoom in so you can see this shit. So you can see this shit. Look at this shit. I also don't like the term casual and hardcore because they come with an implication that skill equals passion. That's because it does. If you have a like, Call of Duty, if you got a passion for playing Call of Duty, you're going to be really, really good at Call of Duty. Okay? What? Well, well, because if you're just a casual player, you're not going to be as good as the hardcore player. This is why they have casual gameplay and ranked. What, what, what? Reason one, that I know these crazy goofy motherfuckers don't play video games. Because if you do play video games, you would know this is a, th th what you're saying is stupid. Those words are something gamers cling to, but they are being rendered meaningless as games become more accessible, easy, inclusive, gay, and experimental, gayer. Let's go to the next one. Miss, Miss Carol Baskin. <laughs> I'm not talking much because it's not my turn to talk. It's time for black people to be heard and white people to listen. So bitch, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't see that video I made the other day about how black people have been in video games for a long, long time. Black people have, like us, have been playing video. Why the fuck you think I'm making this video? Because I'm black, and I see what you're saying is fucking stupid. Need to be seen. What the fuck you talking about? Have you never played Left 4 Dead 2? Have you ever played Halo? Prototype 2, like I said, Desperados, Left 4 Dead 1 and 2. I know you played those, right? Right? Black Ops 1? No? So you've never... Hmm, okay. All right, bet. Interesting. I'm so tired of games focusing on parent-slash-child narratives, period, let alone male-centric ones. There are other relationships worth exploring in games. That last one? Yeah. I agree. But they don't need to be fucking gay. You know what I'm saying? Female stories are fine. You know what I'm saying? I played Resident Evil. You know what I'm saying? I like Ada Wong. You feel me? Female-led stories are fucking amazing. I love Tomb Raider. Aeon Flux. You know what I'm saying? So, 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 what are you, near Automata? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good fucking game. What are you, 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 what are you talking about? Women need to be seen. Bayonetta? Have you ever never played that? What are you, what are you, what are you talking about? Of child, parent, child narratives. Have you, have you, have you never played a game? <laughs> Have you never played a game? You know what? I like games with female stories. I like women. You're gay. We understand that. Just, okay? 
I'd like to see more women doing things in games that aren't motivated entirely by men. If it wasn't for men, you wouldn't even have these stories to talk about. Oh yeah, I just talked about that one. <coughs> this part is wild. Okay, so it's, uh, so it's, it, she's responding to this other tweet. I think it's true that bridging the gap will have uh, to come more from men than women, but I think diagnosis of quote unquote toxic masculinity only exacerbate the problem causing further negative polar pol polarization you're correct John Byrne Murdoch you're correct because all the good games men and women love they got women looking like women men as men all them games yeah got men making them and and I'm s and all of this just <sighs> cuckery, simping from all these dudes in the community in the in the in the gaming community that's hiring these freaks like this. You know what I'm saying? And especially you white dudes, you cuck white dudes, stand up, drop your nuts, man. It's okay. It is okay, my guy. Be a man. Be a man. You know what you. You know what a motherfucking woman is, dog. You know how motherfucking women act. And all of these women out here, that's, sorry, I had a bug. All of these women out here, that's just accepting this. Like this is what you wanna play in your power fantasy. You wanna be this motherfucking ugly ass motherfucking woman. No, because deep down inside, you know motherfucking that game, uh, uh, Scarlet Blade, Stellar Blade isn't, isn't, isn't that bad because it's a power fantasy. You as a woman want to play that game because this is how you feel. This is how you want to feel, but you're too motherfucking lazy. Let me just be real with you. You're too motherfucking lazy to do anything about it. You know you can go outside, work out a little bit, walk a little bit, take care of yourself, eat right, drink right, go to bed on time, wash your nasty ass face. But no, you want motherfuckers to drop down to y'all level instead of doing what you need to do to raise your own. But no, y'all don't want to do that. Y'all don't do that. She says, this part is wild. By unchecking the accountability box for men completely, some real big stinky opinions here. N no, he's right. He's right. Okay. And I'm going to end on this note here. Like I, like I'm going to reemphasize this point. Stop being fucking scared of these fucking weirdos. Because these motherfuckers like this, like Carol Baskin here, <laughs> like motherfucking the Michelin man here, Michelin woman here, they're fucking holding y'all hostage, dog. These motherfuckers are tyrants in name only. They want to be. You feel me? Stop being cucks, bro. It's okay. Us dudes out here, we're, we're here for you, man. I'm, I promise you. I promise you. Why do you think we're going so hard for Stellar Blade? I'm an Xbox guy. I can't even play Stellar Blade. But I like to see it when women look like women. Men are men, dog. And you know it. You motherfucking know it that these motherfucking freaks bring no benefit, none, zilch, nada, nothing. Get these motherfucking freaks out your goddamn games, bro. Get them out of here. Get these motherfuckers out your fucking studios, man. Because they're ruining gaming. They're not making it better. They're not making it inclusive. Because we already had all that. We already had all that. But no, these motherfuckers just want to push that goddamn agenda. You know what I'm saying? Get them, get them the fuck up out of here. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. This is your boy and I'm out. Peace.